Let me explain to you something. I was completely correct about being bullshitted. Uh, yeah, there is no fucking internet connection. It can be reached this site. Sometimes it is working and some other times it's not working. It depends basically how Santa Claus feels about it. If Santa Claus feels good about it, the internet connection is going to work. If the Santa Claus gets nasty, or the birds are not happy outside, or maybe something else comes in between, then there is no internet. Oh, oh shit. Somebody just got lucky. I got my internet back. So what's going on? I'm going to tell you what's going on. I was told in MKUltra that I shouldn't have any kind of VPN installed on the laptop any kind of in any browser any any features any extensions anything I kind of came to conclusion that's a stupid thing to not have especially because there are websites that you cannot reach if you don't have the VPN because why at Yahoo for instance frequently they put the restriction on the video geographically so here in Slovenia, for me to say, oftentimes I don't have a capacity to even see videos from the Yahoo, unless I would be using a VPN. That's just the way it's done. Basically, they enforce their rules, which, if you ask me, I would enforce back and demand for the websites like Yahoo to have no right to restrict geographically their videos. And so oftentimes videos that are very of a significant importance uh, political wise and you know also sometimes some stupid stuff that it doesn't make any sense that would be geographically restricted and so on so whether you like that or not you don't actually have a choice not to you can't afford not to have a vpn this is just the way it is on other occasions other people in system under mk ultra that you have to have a vpn you have to have a proxy if you're not going to have and this and that they trace you they did all kinds of paranoia how would they trace me and uh did you have to install i don't know the fuck what kind of uh browser in the background tor browser i don't know what founder of the tor project was involved in this project he met his lady literally through this project. I was in his matrimony, on his marriage show matrimony, founder of the Tor project. There was nobody on the internet that was not involved in it. Uh, that is like significant. That, 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 that when you open the browser, the browser I opened, that, that there was not a single person either from Oprah founders or Google or this everybody was involved in this stuff so what's going on here with this stuff well this is a variety of things that can be used to manipulate oh for that stuff what they told me when you're going to see this stuff it, 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 you, that you don't have the internet and so on it's because we are remotely not allowing you it's because we are uh, you know, somebody's doing this to you, somebody else is doing to you, uh, all kinds of stuff like this, like million things I have to come up with, I have to recall the stuff, the, the paranoia they incited in, uh, they cut you from the internet, they actually really have a capacity, make no mistake, the browsers I learned were so, and it didn't come to me until this moment, and it come to me now, how this stuff was done is because this antivirus here that you see, this asset smart security, they ask me stupid questions like, do you want to have the VPN turned on or not? He's, he claims that the network is not secure, which really is not. So he wants to protect naturally. It's a very good antivirus program. Um, naturally wants to protect the unprotected network yeah cool but you know this guy he can be manipulated he's not the only one this here network protection this shit 
will go and will turn on. Oh, let me demonstrate you this stuff here. You have an untrusted network, whether you like it or not. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me see something else. Uh, we're just going to turn this thing off. Okay. I am trying to figure out where exactly have I overview bylines and password networking inspector. He's got like a network inspector here too. Okay, it does make sense this stuff. Let me explain to you. Um, device control. Man, this is so many stuff that enable device control. Let me see that. Notification and so on. Privacy. Notifications. Privacy. Privacy settings. Participate in customer service. No. Yeah, I am getting tired of this stuff here. Model. Create snapshot model profiles. The thing is that he keeps asking me Hey, do you want the VPN on? Do you want to protect on? Do you want to protect on? He's asking like 50 fucking times a day if I want network protection that is the detected uh, unprotected network. Do you want protection on? Do you want protection? You know what the protection on is? You turn the VPN proxy. How the hell? I have no idea. Does he have something integrated inside? Probably. I don't know. But there is another problem here. This here, this shit here, browser, it's called browser, whether it be Google, Opera, Firefox, whatever it is. These guys have extensions inside, like this, some of which I myself have installed, sure, because, as I stated, here and there, I need them. Now, I am afraid, because, you see what the problem is, I don't have any kind of proxy yeah, you got U block origin, you got uh, whatever, this is wallet, opera, ad blocker, and then you have a browser free VPN for Opera. That comes already pre-installed, I think at least. It's off. It's off. But when I go and I think about under MK Ultra, what they, what they told me, remove the thing. If you're not going to remove one, we're going to do this stuff to you. So as much as I need one, is going out now because I can't do that anymore. I can't think about the birds. I can't think about the clouds and weather outside. Who likes me or not? Ah. And lose my sanity on it. Not time. Literally. Is it out or not? I hope it is. Okay, so. They're going to see now. All right, so that's it. They're out now. But what I want to say to you, I want to finish this. You know, what I'm not talking to you about the stuff that's not possible. You, the, the browsers, the browsers, I'm going to tell you, the browsers. The browsers are modified in a, such a way that it became completely, completely dysfunctional on so far every windows feature i installed on the laptop listen everybody if you heard about this guy britek it's a nice guy british guy but everybody all this it engineers that i came across on the internet and i'm really not insane they were involved in this stuff they had a whole uh i'm not saying regiment but they had a whole fucking army of this IT people involving this stuff. And they told me, you know what they told me? They told me, they told me, no, you, you have no idea the hell I have gone through with the browsers. Like you wouldn't even have a capacity to import or export the fucking passwords. I mean, the stuff they have done to me on my, on my browsers and stuff.
like you wouldn't believe, like a domino effect, like tick, 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 till I started to carry the computer with me. But even carrying the computer with me still gives them a capacity to modify your browsers, your system. They do it remotely. They, they, they do the stuff like you wouldn't believe. Now, Bill Gates was also involved in this stuff. Although I like him, but still, I don't know. I don't know how much did he have to do with this stuff. He could have, right? I'm not saying that he did, but he could. But what I'm saying is, they told me, why don't you install yourself something different? You know, uh, why do you have, why are you using a Firefox? Oh, this is the stuff from MKUltra. That's how they talk. Why are you using Google Chrome? Why are you using, oh, shit. We're also going to go and going to do uh, some Oprah. Why don't you install yourself Oprah browser? I don't know why are you using Google Chrome or Firefox and so on. But if you go to the internet, you're going to see these are the safest browsers, the fastest browsers, the least troublesome browsers for you. But not in this case, boy. Here, in this case, you close the fucking browser, like Komodo, let's say, which is like the safest browser. And the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to have like 20 processes running in the background without even launching the fucking browser. You won't even have to launch one. You understand? You're going to shut it off the computer. You're not going to even launch. You're not going to even start one. You're going to have a 30 sessions running in the background. Drum, drum, drum. Like when you open like... Like a task, this task manager and stuff. You're going to have like 30 fucking sessions running in the background with a CPU completely occupied, with the memory totally occupied, with computers so fucking slow that, I don't know, it feels like you would have a Porsche and that Porsche would go with the speed of like, not with a little Fiat, but like with a little Moped or something like that. You, you were... I'm trying to give you a comparison of this bullshit. It makes you feel like completely, it wears you, fuck, it fucks you up completely. And it's like on everything you do on the computer like this. It's the stuff I did not video record, but you got to understand, this is the shit that went on with my computers, with all of my laptops, with all my Windows installation, with absolutely everything. Listen, the keys I purchased through the fucking eBay, would you believe, uh, discounted keys, would you believe they brought the people inside of this fucking room, believe it or not, some from United States of America, some here from the neighborhood. There was one guy who was, I think, from Croatia or something, or Bosnia or something like this, that he was actually selling on eBay. I had no idea that he's actually from here, from the area. And would be telling me about... Oh, you know what? This key is no good. This one I sold you like this. Uh, no, actually, this is not bullshit. Real fucking people. Real people. You would buy it like randomly, like from eBay, the fucking key for the windows. Walked inside of the fucking room to tell you which one he sold you, which one, how they fucked you, which is the one that's going to work you, and which one is not going to work you. And you're going to have a guy demonstrating you like a key, and it's going to go like this with a finger on your laptop, and he's going to erase one like this, like he's saying to you right now, you didn't take a photo, you didn't take a note, you didn't do this, sorry, now it's too late, we told you already the last time you do this, now we're going to erase one right in front of your eyes. That's MK Ultra bullshit. I'm just giving you a taste. Now you're going to have a stuff like this, it says here 23, uh, 23, all this from the from the Oprah browser. I don't know how it works. This is quite busy here. I, I totally agree. But let me see if there is something else open. Like, I totally restricted the browser like Komodo now, so it, it wouldn't be doing this stuff to me. But before, it was like a zoo, man. You wouldn't believe what the hell was running to me in the background. Right now, you can see here, you got Microsoft Edge that's running. 
Uh, it's actually Microsoft Edge is not even open. Microsoft Edge is not even open. It's not open. And I'm just giving you an example here, right? And, and you got one running. But it wouldn't be like this because here still I can see here stuff like add guard blocker and this and that shouldn't be here anyways. Why the hell is this thing working anyways? It shouldn't be. I think it shouldn't be. Look at it. Look at this nasty thing here. It says 13. Yeah. And then you go down and all this shit is running. It, it, it sure it takes stuff tall on you every little and they get you down this is nothing when compared to the commodo however the commodo browser had like like 20 30 of this guys like this open that you see here and it would computer would be all the time Shh. it would be like all the time would be running like high you could hear and i was like fuck i'm not burning movie i'm not doing this i said uh, i was like this is like somebody just go and start slapping you or something all over the place it's like shitty feeling because you know that somebody is again doing somebody is again in your ass from the rear for summer doing some shit dirty job you don't even know and you can't get to one and it's just dirty 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 stuff man since 1999 man you know, that's a 24 years. It's a long time. It's been a long way. This is nothing. This is shitty, I know. But still, I st what I did not know when I had laptops was driven insane, searching for jobs and stuff like this. And it was just, I would listen on other laptops. It would be like... Vroom! like this ventilation over here their computer processor like it felt like it's gonna fuck the whole thing up outside close to 40 degrees celsius me inside here it's shit that is actually impossible to describe uh finally i learned you know because with the, you know what the problem is it's a very very bad situation when you find yourself in a situation like this you want to resolve this shit quickly and you don't want to have nothing to do with this you want to go and you want to go with your life that's exactly what they know. That's exactly is the catch. That is the catch. The catch is that they know about your state of mind. And the only thing they do is they upgrade, you know. Tick, tick, tick. They give more and more and more and more and more shit. They add more and more and more problems. Uh, you know, once you start to resolve may, main problems, they didn't hesitate to put me inside a psychiatric hospital. Talking about the problems, how far did this shit, how low did it go? From forced unemployment, how low they push this down? They push this down all the fucking way, all the way to mud and beyond. Anything you possibly can imagine to accomplish their mission. There is no limits to this British royals. There is no limits to crime. There is no, there is no like low, like low end low. Fuck that. There's always another low that can be found somewhere and dig you from behind into a little bit lower that's how they operate maybe the worst that i experienced were the browsers that had all my fucking browsers had modified uh history the ability to browse the history on my browsers so all of a sudden i wasn't able to uh to access the history you know i would go and I'll open the history and all of a sudden it would not demonstrate the history so the fuck it demonstrated the history. Listen to this shit. It demonstrated the history from beginning as the first from two weeks ago. Like, let's say today, now it's February the 7th, 2023. But at that time, what he would do, he would go, you know, you, would, you, would, you want to see the news, the history that you had. You go over, you see that, and you, you can access that shit. And you, you, you don't know what the hell is going on. Because it's showing the history, right? It's showing the history. But you can access from yesterday or the day before yesterday full in a such a way. I, I stopped to rely on a fucking history issues. Because for the last two weeks, you wouldn't even see the history. So what was the history? The history was <laughs> from a month ago, from three weeks ago, whatever, useless history. You understand? If you want to use one. You know? 
and the, you know they they modify the whole computer from the browsers from the windows from everything you possibly can imagine you become a fucking foreigner on your laptop on your windows all of a sudden you need the administrator permission and so on and so forth you know i just wanted to record this stuff now i got to find out due to this gimmick basically gimmick whatever gimmick gimmick what they have done to me because i know they have done something to me so that i cannot go and access the internet and what they did in this case they modified some kind of something inside with vpn so you are able to see the extensions how they were running on a browser that was not even open well that's basically that's the way it is you know they don't you know the system itself I'm going to launch this browser right now, and then what we're going to do is we're going to close one down. So I'm going to set an example for you, because you could have, well, something to do with this. Who knows? But what I want to say to you is this. The system itself is not designed like for you to go and just all of a sudden, boom, you wouldn't have the internet finished. You, you understand? Or, boom, all of a sudden, the history would not work. Or, boom, all of a sudden, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. It's not it. The year when they implemented attack through the passwords and stuff like this, you couldn't export the password from the Google and so on and so forth. Um, it was like a lot of people complain about that issue because they, attack, they design attacks. What's interesting is even if you install another version of a Chrome browser or whatever still would not work. It will not work. It will not fucking work no matter what. It doesn't matter which browser version you install of the Chrome. It was just written, Chrome stopped uh, this year from allowing people to, uh, I think it was like export um, passwords. During MK Ultra, they brainwash how you have to go and you have to learn this, how to do this, and then you're gonna you're gonna install this and you're gonna done. No, 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 no. You become a fucking IT engineer, and I doubt IT engineer could do shit about it because it was modified in a such a way. I think that even the IT engineer could go and do this to himself. So what you wanna do is destroy as much time as possible, waste on issues that are totally non-essential, fucked up, waste of time. <laughs> It was the year 2000 and I don't know. Well, maybe when they threw me inside a psychiatric hospital, 2013, 2015, I don't know. They gave themselves like a green light for something, for attack. Well, why on the internet? Google Chrome, unfortunately, stopped doing that. Google Chrome, right? So Google Chrome, okay. What kind of Google Chrome? Basically, everything that is based on a fucking Google Chrome did not work. Not Komodo, not whatever browser was based with a Google uh, Chrome platform, nothing worked. Not a single fucking one browser worked. That's what I'm trying to give you a taste. And if you wanted to follow what other people are using on the internet to get by, you will not. The only thing that's going to happen is you're going to waste a lot of fucking time, frustration, all the fucking bookmarks, everything you had. Oh, this this was a fucking madness. And the internet was so slow. Now I have a fast internet. But before, the internet was like 5 megabit per second, something like this, to download. And if you wanted to upload, it was like a 1 megabit or something like that. Totally, totally fucked up. And in between, somebody would do something and the internet would disappear. And then you had to do it again and again to upload the video. The video for one hour was about five gigabyte long because they did something to the Windows. And when you would use Windows Movie Maker for like a low resolution, like 480 pixel, 360 pixel, it would take like several hours, like five, six hours, eight hours, five, six hours to burn the fucking movie in a hit surprisingly good laptops i had somehow did not go wrong even that participants 
criminals in this made like a very sarcastic, sadistic remarks like, you have a really good laptops that they don't fall apart. Yeah. Yeah, like this. And the file would be like a five gigabyte long. And then you would go and you would upload to a YouTube. And the reality, maybe the, the file was just maybe not even a hundred megabyte in size and stuff like that. That kind of stuff I'm talking about. No, this is this is a browser a Commodore, let's say. Yeah, I'm talking to you about this stuff now because the main things are off my brain, basically, the problems they created. So I managed to swim that much on the surface that I can now talk about and actually pay attention to the stuff that maybe even matters the most. This whole thing I didn't finish earlier is not designed for nothing to work. Because if nothing would work, you would probably even find a way to get around. That's what I think. It's impossible. When they put you a psychiatric gag on your mouth, you are so scared to say anything. That's one of the things. But what I want to say to you is this one here. They don't do it like this so that everything falls apart at once. They drive you insane. The whole thing is designed to wear and tear you down. So the longer the abuse goes, the more your brain is like you become like retarded. A retarded means slow, based with the depression. They depress you, they destroy you, they rip you apart. It's not designed to completely destroy you at once like everything you would do. Like you go downstairs, you wear the shoe, and the shoe is all torn apart so that you cannot wear one and stuff like this. No, it's not done like this. It's always done like in a way, in a small things like this and systematical. And it's all designed in such a way, like a progressive way to wear and tear you down. And I was somewhat that went with psychiatric label. Paranoid schizophrenic. That's what they have given me in 2013. You paranoid schizophrenic. And so it was just designed when I ask, what is your diagnosis based upon? And they have no, no, no excuse. They couldn't even come up with excuse. They couldn't even come up with a, they wrote some stuff that had nothing to do with me, that I don't know what time it is, what year is it, where the fuck I am. It almost was written that I don't know what my name is. And so on, some kind of crazy shit. Straight out of some fucking horror movie. <laughs> Completely insane stuff. But the whole thing is not designed to... What the government here, Slovenian government, is borderline insane, criminally insane, completely insane. Um, they didn't have a guts to say that to me because they knew that I'm going to throw the motherfuckers on the internet. I wanted to get this verbally and stuff like that so that I could translate this to the people. I did throw the paper on a paper on the internet so it didn't trigger international society to pay attention to the facts that I didn't have the right not even to the second psychiatrist's opinion that what they stated on the paperwork that was completely a lie that had nothing to do with me, absolutely anything they stated, it would make no difference. But if I wouldn't keep up, is what I want to say, this wear and tear, it would actually bring you down all the way to some kind of level, to some kind of degree that eventually you would fail. You know, they wanted to to fail to make to make you fail yourself basically to make you fail yourself basically okay so this is a commodore browser this is yet another google uh platform based browser i'm gonna close this down now you want to go see this extensions why not let's go uh, what do we have going on we have ad block we have this ad block and we have this here at guard and we don't have any kind of uh, extensions uh, such as VPN or anything like this, which I do have quite a few installed. Now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to close this down, this browser. 
Yeah, I'm going to close this down. And we're going to go here to the task manager. And I have restricted, absolutely restricted everything that would uh, give the Commodore the right to appear anywhere. Um, and so I want to see... Yeah, I don't actually even see one. I don't see one. Um, it could be that. Uh, it could be. Um, it could be that. I'm thinking that they probably integrated from what you have seen was Microsoft this this browser here this Microsoft Edge because you you were able to see that the extensions were still running right that they used extensions from the Microsoft Edge, it didn't have to be this, I don't know where this asset security. I think what they did was they used the asset security to trigger something and the process that, for instance, I'm going to open the Microsoft Edge right now because I totally restricted the Komodo Dragon. So this is a Microsoft Edge. I'm going to go and close one down. And now we're going to go and we're going to go through here. And yeah, we're gonna see after you close one down what basically what happens. Yeah, so this is a this is here. If it's somewhere around to be found like it was a little earlier, the issue with one. Now here it is. Look at it. Look at it. It's already closed down, yeah, but it's here. And so what I think was that asset security triggered vpn he demanded like vpn you want to protect the vpn it was not necessary not even from the asset security who knows what the hell if the asset security was not modified to implement its own vpn and i don't even know if one has then i think that it was asset security that implemented the vpn literally through this browser which in this case also should not even be here because i just closed one down but this shit is still running you know Look at it. Look how it runs like this. So there's always a way to control your laptop, even the speed of browsing. And you, and there, you look at that. Ad blocker ultimate. Ad guard. Ad blocker. Edge translate. Google translate. U block origin. GPU process. Subframe. D E P. I don't even know what that is. Utility network service. Do you see this? And then it says right there, utility storage service, and then pre-render, new tab one, and then spear renderer, and God knows what the fuck. So don't think that shit like this doesn't happen. And that will cause you a lot of annoyance when you browse the internet and you just, you, you're like, what the fuck? I mean, you you find yourself in, in like this, rather than to use the internet to your abilities, you got you find yourself with some kind of completely retarded stuff. So it was like you got to try something else, you know. Um, this year, Google Chrome is not gonna work well. This year, which one? What other one? Firefox also is not gonna work well. What other one? So basically, the browsers that if you go to the internet, which are the fastest and best browsers, and you get the list, right? Tick, tick, tick. Commodore, you know, that kind of stuff. So what else is not going to work? Commodore is not going to work at all. Commodore is not going to work at all. You know, Commodore is the best browser, I think, really. And nothing is wrong, really, with all these browsers. It's just that somebody has a fucking ability to make the hell on the computer out of these browsers. And you know what? These are not hackers. It's a government. These are a government officials, man. These are people that are empo uh, uh, employed by the government, literally. They just say, how the fuck? Can't have a official over there uh, in a parliament doing that stuff or somebody that is uh, working in some kind of intelligence. Oh, who says that not? Who says that not? All the Number one, all these people were involved in it. And if you go to the so-called private sector, private sector, based on my views, 
existed to basically cover up the dirty work from the government. Go then and figure out what the fuck government is. Because I don't even know anymore what the fuck government is. I wouldn't say that this shit was so intertangled. But I almost feel that the, the private sector was created by the government to literally cover up crime. So they wouldn't say directly, oh, it was the United States of America who did this, you know? Yeah, by the way, if you say United States of America, it's not the store like Microsoft. You know, even the companies like Microsoft closed down. And it's another Oracle or whatever company that opens up. You know, in the U.S., is this is the way it is. It's a company, and they, they open and they close companies all the time. You know, they open, it's good, it's cheap. People come like a fish. They, they, they get fish to come to eat. And then all of a sudden, something very nasty happens, and the company disappears. It was a private company. Then where do you go? You go to your mama and to your papa, to the government office where you complain oh you know they stole to me this and that i pay i never got and so on and so forth and so they always blame on a company 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 but in my case i'm actually thinking about that the border between the private and between the government was you couldn't distinguish one as a matter of fact i'm even thinking i i'm actually Imp it's impossible through my eyes, and trust me, they are eyes of eagle, to determine whether it was a private sector that have used government to abuse or it was the government that used a private sector to abuse. Between the two, almost impossible to distinguish the difference. That's how bad, bad of a stuff this is. All right, so this here, this is going to be, this, this is about, this is video recorded. This stuff is video recorded uh, to have a proof that, yeah, you can totally fuck person through uh, the VPN issues, through the proxy issues. And the person will not know that in the name of the protection of the network, and I don't know what kind of stuff, the antivirus programs or the browsers alone, I think here's impossible for me to distinguish Maybe the Windows already is altered so much that it's impossible, again, to distinguish whether it's a browser, whether it's Windows that's been modified, installed a month ago, one week and one month and one week ago, or is it maybe the antivirus that I, I installed that is being used to control the Internet, the functionality of the Internet itself. Nasty shit. Oh, you know what they told me? They told me, they told me like this. I, I went completely nuts here. I used to go and scream at the company that provided internet service because of the MK Ultra brainwash. Now you get to, we go to this paranoid schizophrenic area. During MK Ultra, they brainwashed me by using the people from the internet company. Literally the people who come here to install the internet, literally the people that would come here to troubleshoot the internet connection. And during MK Ultra, these people would appear and it would be like, this is when I fuck you. This is when I do this. This is when I do that. And I have a police officers, investigators that were here, neighbors. Um, by the time you run downstairs, how it all started with the Internet, it will all depend. Everything will be decided now. And I was like, now what? Like how? For years, there was no internet here. For years, there was just the phone line internet I was using here. Just a regular fucking phone line, dial-up. It's known as a dial-up internet. I don't know, but probably still exists in some part of the world, whatever. Now, that stuff was gone with a DSL internet that finally I got, I don't know, in what year of holy lord. Um, what year was it? But it came with a package, also with a TV package for the parents and stuff like this. I don't watch TV. But anyways, I don't know what year was it. But before they installed the internet, they told me, everything is going to be decided now about you. And I was like, what the fuck? Really? 
I said, how are you going to be deciding about me right now through the internet? Yeah, through the internet, is going to, everything is going to be decided about you right now through the internet. That's a fucked up statement, if you would say to somebody like this. And I was like, yeah, how are you going to do this? How the fuck internet is going to be deciding how you, somebody who installs the modem inside of the house, as you are saying, you're going to come and you're going to install. Because they got, before we requested before they installed the internet, they requested the internet. Once the internet was requested, they got me, they threw me on MKUltra. They hijacked me, drug me up, and they bring the service people who were going to install the internet inside of the house. I was like, how the fuck are you going to be deciding about me with installation of the internet of the modem? I said, Come on, tell me how are you going to do this? And the guy went on and he said, it all will be decided about whether you are going to install the modem downstairs or upstairs. Now, you most likely will go ahead and will request the internet, the modem installation downstairs. Oh, who, who the fuck wouldn't? Out of 100 people, probably 100 people would decide downstairs. Yeah, I too. I said, yeah. And he said that that's exactly what's going to fuck you. I said, really? Why? No clue. They give you no fucking clue. They give you no clue. And so the guy goes and downstairs the internet, the uh, the modem, the main modem box downstairs. Yeah. And then you have a police officers already, investigators parallel to that driving you insane. That's when you run downstairs and I already disappear. The neighbors, that's when you run downstairs and I already disappear. The whole fucking village, police, everybody, before, you, you, before you're going to make it, I disappear. And you don't know what the fuck is going on. But you know what's going on? You see this shit here. The page cannot be reached. You know, the page cannot be reached. You wait for the page to load. Wait for the page to load. The page fucking loading. The circle running outside 40 degrees Celsius and stuff like this. It take two minutes to load the fucking page. That kind of stuff is what the stuff I am talking about. So what you know what happens? Before, what gets in your head is the words. Before you gonna run downstairs, I already disappear. You will not see me. I already disappear. The door. Did this, did that, I hide, I this, find me, la 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 la. Yeah, no, this is a paranoid schizophrenia. And before you know, I started to find myself pissed off here in front of the computer, seeing this shit circle, couldn't reach the internet, couldn't go and do my fucking stuff. The computer became a machine to drive me retarded. It became a machine, a tool, a super tool, a better tool that if I throw you inside a psychiatric hospital and I beat the fuck out of you, it became more efficient tool. You could go and work on the computer like this and just fade, basically fall asleep, lose your conscience, lose focus, would not know what the fuck went on. You have no idea how much energy it actually took me to get ahead anyways. The matter about this was not to destroy you completely, but it was to systematically wear and tear you down, to decimate you completely. That's how it operated the whole thing. And before you know, I, 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 I lost, I fucking ran downstairs every time to see what the fuck, if really somebody is next to the modem pulling the cable out. Yeah, you know, this shit, this shit is done remotely. Then they came with... A million and one conspiracy in respect to modem, basically. They came with all kinds of conspiracies. They came with the conspiracies. And the idiot went and installed the cable in a such a way, downstairs in the box, so that it's just like barely hanging. Like it's not falling apart, but it's just, just like, 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 you know, like a loser like this. That if you're going to move like this, just, just like a little bit, like this, it feels like the whole thing is just going to down, in that kind of sense. No, that's actually real. That's, that's, that's real. A cable is attached like this, that it makes a fucking wire look like it's going to fall apart. And it's been like this since the thing was installed in the house. And the thing was installed in the house, I'm not going to say 20 years ago, 
but very long ago. Like, I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe like 15 years ago or something like this. Yeah. So that's the kind of stuff you, 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 you're, uh, I'm trying to recall the stuff they brainwash me with on, 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 totally, totally drive you insane. You know, actually, when you consider the stuff like this, it's a ultra violence. We just say a paranoid schizophrenic. It's actually ultra violence that government, Slovenian government have implemented. It was a ultra violence. I'm going to tell you what the fuck it is. It was ultra violence. You go and sleep deprive somebody for months, month and a half. Look at your dog. If you don't realize, recognize yourself, but most of you like this, you are. You are, you, most of you are a shy creatures, very, very much open to stress. If I go and take a cracker and throw one next to the dog and it's going to do boom, the dog is going to be fucked up for a very long time. If I put you guys on a sleep deprivation method and threaten you on every 50 meters, I'm going to push you down from the mountain or whatever, uh, or shoot you, or do stuff like this, do beatings and, and terror and stuff like this, most of you are going to be like, uh, within within probably one or two days like this, with the sleep deprivation, when you're going to wake up, your, your, your eyes are going to be twinkling, you're all going to be fucked up. 26 years of terror, with one month, month and a half of the sleep deprivation, and they couldn't fucking accomplish anything. I'm the most, the sanest man that ever walked the earth with the strongest mental health, epitome of the mental health that this globe, this world have ever seen. Yet they diagnosed me with the paranoid schizophrenic. My never displaying, not even the slightest sign of that still. And that shit was actually supported with the stuff that you see here with the stuff like this. They, they drive you mad. Nuts, for whatever fucking cost, will destroy you and depict you that something is wrong with you anyways. Now you understand how the psychiatry works. So that's all I wanted to tell you. It was all kinds of stuff that went on with this. It doesn't end with this shit here. It ends with all kinds of stuff. You know, I could go and, you know, if something would be really wrong with me, I could end up on the street at the neighbor, smacking him in the face with a police car coming by and taking me away. You understand? I just uh, got a phone call right now in respect to work, job, and stuff like this. I'm going to have to go. I don't know where I stopped, what I did, but I hope I did portray it also the issue with the VPN somewhat, how that was done. Um... The disk, the hard drive, I'm going to tell you how that stuff is done. The disk, the hard drive, they told me they're going to fuck me up. This is new disk I have installed in the computer. I, you know how it goes? It goes exactly like this. I'm going to demonstrate to you. Actually, I can't. It's not demonstrating right now. Well, let me see that. The way this operates, basically, I'm going to give you an example how they get things done, how they get things done. So, you know, the Firefox is not going to work. Commodore is not going to work. The Google is not going to work. So which one is going to work? I don't know. You need to find some other one. You need to find some other one. So from the top quality browsers, they start to develop a new idea about the alternative, about the substitution, basically, for what is the best. To demonstrate to you, the best is a shit, so that you would resort yourself to the lower, 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 lower standards. You understand? That's how it operates right now. And I'm going to finish the video with this stuff. Yeah, they told me, go, and you're going to use... You go, they told me, use some other fucking browsers. I don't know which browsers. I never heard about some kind of browsers. Here, you see, there's another browser here. Well, I mean, you know, this really is a killing of an individual, of a human being. This is, this is butchering. 
This is this is as violent also as it gets. I could end up on the street. This is what I stopped earlier, and have a confrontation with a neighbor, and it would really be a police vehicle. Maybe they would shoot me. Maybe not even an ambulance vehicle would not pick me up. You have no idea how dangerous this is. But right now, I'm gonna end with this stuff. I gotta install the windows on the other hard drive just as they told me to do. It's gonna be the first hard drive and that's where you're gonna install the windows on that hard drive. And you're gonna take this one back because this one here is gonna have a problem. This is the way it goes. This is the way it was done. This is the way it was done. And we don't know how it's gonna be done the next hard drive we will deliver to you. You know, bought brand new with I don't know what kind of guarantee this hard drive yet the hard drive immediately dropped to I think 94 percent just like this this is basically how they operate they reserve the right like a blade I fucking tell you I got to put the movie on how about the hard drive this hard drive was open the box was open the hard drive was so damaged but it was so damaged in a such a way that so they demonstrated me how to test the hard drive knowing that when I'm going to be testing the hard drive I'm not going to be I'm not going to have a capacity <coughs> excuse me <coughs> IT people did this shit I'm not going to have a capacity to prove that it was damaged but once you install on the laptop it comes out as damaged like this like this so I don't know what the fuck to tell you. This is like, this is like the same shit maybe like when I went to Norway and was thrown out of the police station for attempting to apply for the political asylum. And before I even apply for the political asylum, they demonstrated me where to go and complain about this. A list of I don't know how many agencies, police department, where you're going to take this. And everywhere, just so you would be abused more and more and more. You get, you get the principle? Well, this shit is, in my case, going on since 1995. That's 29 years. So it's based on wear and tear. It's not based on completely destroy immediately, but it's basically designed to make you fail. And it was all protected and even enforced by the people employed at the United Nations. That's what makes this case a little bit more outstanding. And such agencies that was formed to literally secure the peace after the World War II. Treaties, laws, very, very questionable agency. It's disgusting that a human rights agency, mother of all human rights agencies, was actually used as umbrella of crime, as an umbrella which enforced crime. I was even told it was United Nations that enforced crime against me in front of other human rights agencies. I was told that it was United Nations the one that went to European Court for Human Rights and to other ag uh, agencies what they presented my case as the case that solely can be handled by United Nations or not. Uh, and if it would be other uh, organizations, courts that would attempt, or even countries that would attempt to help me out, it would be United Nations that would go against them and stuff like this. It's difficult to know. Like earlier I stated, private sector, government sector, it's difficult to know who took initiative in crime against me, whether it was a private sector or it was a government sector. Yeah, so. Crystal disk information, probably, let me see, maybe this, maybe this, this here, it's gonna, yeah, yeah let me see. Yeah, this is the way it goes. So, I'm probably not going to get lucky right now with this here. This information. I'm not going to get lucky. I already video recorded. Listen, it's at 94%. The health is already fucked up. 
it's exactly what I was told it's going to be. And I was told, you know, all kinds of stuff, man. Um, thanks for watching this video because this is there is no limit. You could just go blah 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 because it's it 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 concerns everything, every issue. It concerns everything. It, the headphones, yeah, I don't know how many they teach me on how to go and repair the headphones and stuff like this. Don't buy this. We, you're gonna buy this. We're gonna destroy you more. We're gonna destroy you more, and so on and so forth. So, what the fuck is the limit of this shit? The limit is at the United Nations. The limit is an organization that, in fact, took initiative in crime against me. That's I'm afraid because it's a lasting chain, and it should be the first one that should be triggered in this. It's the main fault. It's actually. The stuff I'm even afraid to say, because my idea never was to hurt the United Nations. So, very, very bad stuff. I don't know what to say about this. Catastrophical. Stuff because of which you have really, really funny people appear on the stage, like Donald Trump and all kinds of stuff like this. Completely insane stuff. All of a sudden, just lurk on the surface. Uh, came out of nowhere. War in Ukraine. Friends of uh, Donald Trump blowing up people where they're all over the place. Russians getting idea about becoming Tsars and all kinds of stuff like this. Um, what's wrong with the world? They told me, you is what everything is wrong with. It's you. It's you. No, it's not me. It never was me. It's got nothing to do with me. It's the people who did this. I'm not the one. I'm just the witness of what was done to the people maybe if not only to myself.